What's up, Soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Vibes in it up in the kitchen as usual. Here's the thing. After we did that masala chicken outside, it is still summertime. It is real hot over there. It was such a hit that people start asking, Hey, Chris, you think you could rock a shrimp? Caribbean people love to say shrimps. Anyhow, we're doing a masala shrimp, so we're gonna season it up in here. We're gonna go outside, blaze up that fire, and we're gonna do a thing. All right, there we go. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. And the marinade is pretty straightforward. I have two pounds of shrimp here, clean, deveined, washed with the juice of a lemon and cool water. And we've got a little shell there, Chris. Not too clean, Aya. Pretty basic, as I said, fresh ground black pepper. You don't have fresh ground. Don't feel no way. Use what you got, all right? Caribbean green seasoning. A nice big, you know what? Two tablespoons of that. And here we go. We're gonna talk about this one more time. All the herbs, as well along with seasoning peppers and garlic and everything, I like blending it in olive oil. Because you notice the lovely color it retains and it retains all the flavor. Stick it in the fridge whenever you're doing seafood, meats, any sort of meats, chicken, pork, beef, vegetables, anything. It is our go-to marinade. Black pepper, Caribbean green seasoning, salt. And that's it. Now, if you like, if you like garam masala, I would toss in at least a teaspoon of garam masala in there. I am not a fan of garam masala. I am eating this later. So garam masala is not making an appearance. Irie, Irie. One more quickie. A little bit, about a tablespoon or so of olive oil. Whenever I season and marinate shrimp, I like going in with a little bit of olive oil because it helps to coat everything. We're gonna give that a good mix and we're gonna go outside. No need to marinate overnight and all kind of thing like that. Right away, boom bam. Got a nice heavy pan here on a medium heat. There's about two and a half tablespoons of olive oil in there. And we're gonna go and I have everything already set up. And I do apologize for the dog barking and all kind of people getting on all kind of old noise out there because we're outside. And I then realize it's Uncle Chris's studio. Anyhow. Medium onion. Give that a stir. And let that soften up a little bit there. As the onions start to get a little bit of color, we're gonna go in with some cumin seeds, or what we call jeera, at this point here, because I really want that to bloom. Move that around. favorite curry powder and we're going over with about a tablespoon and a half of that move that around we want to bloom all the spices which makes up the curry powder after about two minutes we're gonna go in with water and this is to cook out the rawness of the curry and to allow everything to come together uniformly. And we're just gonna work that tomato all the way in here and you can see what's already happening here. Now what we want to do is to turn down the heat at this point because we want all of that to cook and come together. Like one big happy family but for now we're trying to cook down that. Now if your tomatoes is tart or sour as we see in the Caribbean you may need to add a little bit of sugar. And I know the curry peon and them saying, Chris, sugar, are you for real? Look, hold all your, hmm. And to be a good masala shrimp, we need some anchar masala. And I'm going in there with a tablespoon of that. And you may need to visit your favorite Caribbean store to get that. I think you can buy it online as well. But that's, that's another depth of flavor there, boy. And noticing what's going on here, I added a bit more water. Full ingredient list will be listed down below though. So in total, I'm using close to a cup and a half of water. We're not done yet. We're going on with some weary, weary peppers. And that is what we call coffee pepper in Trinidad and Tobago, Southern Caribbean. 
but in Guyana they call it weary weary peppers and you can put any peppers you want you notice I put them in whole they were in the freezer first of all they were in the freezer that's from last summer when I planted I have them there and I put it in whole because we want the flavor of it but not that raw heat if you break it be careful be very careful eh? uncle Chris warn all you I don't know if I mentioned this to you all but my heat is on high and you notice how it's separating now there isn't any liquid in there we kind of have the um, the oil that we started off with that is exactly what we want because now when we add the seasoned shrimp and if you're wondering about salt remember we season the shrimp with the salt all right so don't get tired but Chris already went in there with all that salt and everything in there and we just gotta toss the shrimp be mindful of those peppers we don't want to break those peppers eh? And the whole idea here now, and the reason why we cooked that curry for so long before we added the shrimp is because we don't want to overcook the shrimp. All this while my pot has been uncovered, if you're wondering, because I know all these questions in the back of your head right now. And we're almost done. You can't have a trimbegonian make you a masala or a curry without some shadow benny. Uh, some of you call that culantro. If you cannot source that, I would suggest using cilantro. Chris here, Caribbean pot that comes shut off your stove here. Yeah? It's been about almost four and a half, five minutes since the shrimp has been in there. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Let's go in for that. That's close up now. You got to give this one a try, all right? Best, best thing.